How it's made. Insulating a pipe and cladding using fiberglass. The first step is to insulate the pipe using insulation wool. Cut parts and tape them together using duct tape. Insulating bends need a different way of cutting the wool. You need to cut it a little diagonally. As you can see, this side is not as long as this side. Then saw a hole in the wool, put it around the tube and tape it together. When everything is covered in insulation wool, we start with giving both ends of the pipe a nice finish by creating an end rosset. Measure the diameter of the pipe and draw a line like this to make it fit perfectly. Cut the hole out and split the rosset to be able to attach it to the pipe. If needed, cut it in the right size. Attach the end rosset to the pipe like this. Drill two holes in both sides and attach it together using a pop rivet gun. Then connect it to the insulation with tape, like this. To clad the boiler, UV curving fiberglass is used. For cladding straight parts, no mold is needed, but in this case we have to clad a bend and use a mold. First a piece is cut off that is the same length as the mold. Then the edges are cut to make sure they are straight. Place the mold on the fiberglass and draw a line. When you are done, cut it out using a box cutter. Attach the fiberglass to the insulation layer by removing the inner protection layer from the fiberglass. It should have the same shape as the insulation you cut. Connect one half of the fiberglass to the other parts by taping it together using transparent tape.
The other half can be cut off like this. This half is used as an overlay for the next piece. Fiberglass hardens when UV radiation shines on the material. It takes about 30 minutes to harden, so make sure when you work with this material outside, you use a tent. After 30 minutes, you can remove the outside layer of fiberglass. If done correctly, it should look like this. This was How It's Made by Altisole.